Hey guys, so I want to do a quick video. I came home and this is a volt transformer for low voltage landscape lighting. And I came home and I noticed that the switch was off. So I flipped it back on and it would go right back off like it was getting tripped by a breaker. Well, come to find out that this has an internal breaker in it which turns it off if it's ever shorted. I have two separate lines here. One line goes to the backyard. Back here, there's lights all the way around. And then the other one goes down through here and out and does all the front line, all, all of the, uh, the lights out front. Well, come to find out, I'll make a long story short, this front line was tripping. So what I did was in order to find it, I popped out the front, turned it back on, removed the photo cell and put the jumper in. So I have a jumper, pulled out the timer, plugged the plug directly into the unit, put the jumper in place of this so now it's hot all the time, removed the front wires, turned it on, and it was it stayed on, didn't trip. So I removed the, the, the back wires, backyard wires, put the fronts in, and it tripped. So now I eliminated the backyard, know that the issue was out front. So then I'll take a quick walk out front and show you what I ended up having to do. To narrow it down. <clears throat> so up here, I have these all wired up. They come through here from the other side of the fence. I had to pull them all up through the ground and had to eliminate the front side over here. And I just re-silicone these. What I do is I add some silicone in, put the wires in, tighten them all up in case I ever have to un, um, unassemble them or disassemble them to check which lights may be an issue in the future. This way I have the op opportunity to do that because if I use hot glue, I wouldn't be able to have to snip the wires and restrip them. But what I did was I eliminated the front over here and just tied power into these two, which go down to the front down here. This way I would know if they stay, if it tripped again, then it would be one of these two lights over here or the ones over out here. And sure enough, that's what happened. So I, I, I removed this wire to these. So I only had these two lights and the ones out in the front, turned on the breaker or turned on the, the switch on the transformer and it tripped. So now I knew it was one of either this one or this one. So then I wired up just these two. There's one, in, there's a light in the front over here. I wired up just these two, these worked. So now I know it was one of these three down here. So then I walked down here to find out what the, what the uh, cause of the issue was. And I didn't know that this could cause the transformer to trip. So this is the FYI for you guys. It was the light bulb in this particular light tripped or shorted and because of it it's had like a burnt smell to it and because of it it was tripping the circuit or the um the transformer over here so i changed the bulb out had my wife flip the breaker back on over here and now it stays on so little did i know that a light bulb could cause the uh the internal breaker on the transformer to trip. So if you ever have an issue, check all your light bulbs first before you go ripping up wires like I did. So little 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 FYI learning opportunity for everybody, including myself. Hope this helps.